So expect it to be a really low scoring game. Here comes Boston College forward. Ageson working it wide. Simon Enstrom off his hat trick. Tess Hilpert early. And Hilpert's up to the challenge. In that attacking midfield role, Callum Johnson, who was injured Tuesday, is available today but isn't starting. Oh, that's close in front as it was chipped by Ageson just wide of goal. Syracuse survives the working along the sideline. Five assists to lead Boston College this season. Ageson into Budani. Curling it low, gets to the middle, Luna, shots blocked, McDonald's, Johnny. Abilities to capitalize for Boston College. Yeah, he and Goodmanson up the middle both wear those bright yellow cleats. If, if the lights go out, I think we're good. They'll, yeah. they'll light the pitch yeah. for us. Syracuse with their jerseys as well. Enstrom, low cross, looking for Luna, comes through, ball scores! Let's take a look from this pass from Enstrom. It, it's a, a great play here for the Eagles. Luna lets it go right by, and here's a chance for Balf, just finding that opportunity. Again, we talked about it. This team is not afraid to score, or shoot, excuse me. Senior captain from nearby Beverly, Massachusetts, and he's on the board in his final season at Boston College, putting the Eagles in front. Houston, then three wins the next season. Jumps up to 14 the following year after that in 2012, where he was the coach of the year. Nope. Triantifalu bends it back. Post header score! Johannes Peels equalizes in the 53rd minute. This is well. Triantifalu picks up the assist, the first of his career, his first collegiate point. That was a dime all the way through the box. And on that play, Bebas caught off guard, not marking his man. So Peels had the, the, the run to that ball and put it right home. Yep. We've got ourselves a game here. We do, one all. Johnson, cross, center, Goodmanson over the bar. Found the right person, just a little inaccurate on that target. Hey, your 6'5 center back's a good guy to go to on a set piece. Got it to him. And just about six inches too high. And I think this is what BC has been missing. A great person like Johnson to set up the free kicks and allow Boston College to have that opportunity. But Goodmanson just misses there on the back of the head. Wide for Budati who leads the Eagles in assists. He keeps the ball at his feet. Budati lets it go. Hilpert the save. And he's on the rebound. Budati looking for, for Hilpert. And this might have been his best. Yeah, great move there by Budati. And then lining up the shot, finding that opportunity. Great goalkeeping here so, tonight so far. We'll take a second look here. He just punches it up. Dangerous to punch it forward. So I was expecting the BC offense to... Weeks ago against Providence after he scored the game winner in overtime, we had him on the air for our post-game interview. And, you know, he was talking about how important it was for, as he said, for the boys. We needed this one to, to get things going. And that's the type of attitude he has. Here he is with a chance for a winner. Lays it off to Johnson. Callum Johnson scores! And Boston College has its first ACC win! What a play by Engstrom to find Johnson, the Pacers. We were just talking about it, how crucial Johnson has been. And then Engstrom, the unselfishness to give that ball up, find the right pass. What a play. Simon Engstrom. Johnson, you see that wrap on his shoulder. He was injured Tuesday, didn't start the game, but he finishes it. Absolutely. You take a look here on the replay. Great ball in. And then Engstrom does the rest, settles it, finds Johnson. Johnson switches foot from the left to the right. Gets it behind the net. Amazing play. That this is just the development to the creation to the finishing. It was just perfectly done by Boston College there. Picked out a perfect spot too. With that pass coming to the left, everybody naturally starts funneling that way. He shot it back to the right to wrong foot the goalie Hilbert. Third goal this year for Callum Johnson. ACC number one win for BC, and they move ahead of Syracuse in the Atlantic Division standings.